Quarantined by Sonia Lene Matthews. My name is Camden, and I'm six years old. This is my big sister, Kayla. She's 14. I just turned six last week. I was supposed to have a birthday party. There were going to be games, ice cream, and cake. Kayla was going to paint me and my friends' faces. And both of my grandmas were coming. But I didn't get to have a birthday party. Do you want to know why? Because we're quarantined. What is quarantined, you ask? It's a serious demand to stay put. It's when you turn on the TV and all of the channels are showing the news. The important people on the news say that no one is allowed to leave their houses unless it's an emergency because you're quarantined. That means we can't have birthday parties or go on play dates. We can't go to school or church. We can't even go to the store for candy. No school, no party, no play date, and no church. We can only go to the store if we're out of food. And when we go, for some reason, all of the toilet paper is gone. And we have to practice social distancing. What is social distancing, you ask? Well, it means that you cannot get too close to another person. All of the stores have stickers on the floor that say, please practice social distancing. Stand here. Mom says we can't come to the store with her anymore. Before, we would all go, and Kayla and I got to pick our own snacks for school. Now we have to stay at home with Dad. They say it's too dangerous. Kayla asked my dad why we're being quarantined. Dad explains to us that we are in the middle of a pandemic. What's a pandemic, you ask? It's when lots and lots of people all over the world get really sick at the same time. And it's not safe to be around a lot of people. I tell dad that it sounds scary. He says that everything will be fine as long as everyone follows the rules to stay safe. What rules, Kayla and I ask? If you sneeze or cough, do it away from people and in a tissue. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Do not touch your face. Clean the house often. If you must go out, wear a mask to cover your mouth and nose. Everything is a little different right now. A couple of weeks ago, we would wake up and get ready for school. Dad would make us breakfast. Then mom would take us to school. After school on Mondays and Wednesdays, I would go straight to my STEM program and Kayla went to ballet school. Now we can't even leave the house for anything. We miss our friends, and I think mom and dad miss my grandparents. It's strange, 
But the good thing is, our new teacher is our mom, and she's doing a great job. And dad gets to stay home with us, too. Mom says it will all get better soon, but until then, we should pray for all of the sick people and their families. So every morning when we wake up and every night before we go to sleep, we pray for everyone in the world to be okay during this pandemic. <laughs> Excellent job, readers. The end. And as always, please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.